The purpose of the prep is to position the ladies so that they are prepared to spin. Let's start with our basic. Starting on five, six, seven, we're gonna go one, two, three, and this is where it's gonna start happening on the open break on five, six, seven. Notice I position my right hand aligned with the crown of her head. Let's start over again from the basic. Five, six, seven, we're gonna go one, two, three. Now guys, as you step with your right, you're gonna rock your hand to your right. Then as you step with the left, rock the hand to the left. Then swing up to your right as you step with your right foot. And that is how we do our preps. So here it is again with the count. We're gonna go five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Some common mistakes leaders make when spinning the follower. First, making the circles too big. Don't draw giant pizzas in the sky. Think of the lady as an angel and draw a halo around her head. Don't move your arms up and down. You want to keep it at a horizontal axis the entire time on the same level like that. Okay. Now the other thing that we got to watch out for is pumping. And what do I mean by pumping? It's this motion. Boom, boom, boom. You want to treat her like a lady so try to make this motion very smooth and consistent. Try and put yourself in the girl's shoes. Pumping will make the lead feel rough. Avoid these mistakes and you'll have a much smoother lead when spinning the ladies. So now let's go over the footwork for the ladies as they go into their prep for the double spin. So we're gonna start with our basic by stepping forward the right foot on one, stepping forward the left foot on two, and stepping in place with the right foot on three. As you step back with your left on five, there's gonna be a small twist to the left. Then as you step back on six with the right foot, you're gonna do a small twist to the right. On seven, you're gonna bring the left foot in and go into your prep position. Now that we're in this position, let's talk about what the body is doing, starting with the feet. Alice's weight is on the ball of her right foot, which is the one in the back. The left foot is only touching the floor. She is not putting her weight into it. There is no space between her legs. And in order to ensure this, she actually has to push her thighs together. Next, you must engage your core, which is the muscles in your stomach. And additionally, you want to make sure that your arms are forming a nice frame to ensure maximum stability while spinning. Always finish with your feet together. Finally, you'll notice that her head is facing forward, spotting her partner. In order to make this into a double turn, gently push with the left after the first rotation. Your weight and balance should still be on the ball of the right foot during the entire spin. So some additional pointers for the ladies, you want to place your arms at a 90 degree angle and your arms shouldn't be too loose where if the guy were to turn you, your arms start wiggling around. But at the same time, you don't want them to be too tight. So you don't want to be flexing your arms. If you're flexing your arms, the guy's going to feel like he went to an arm wrestling session instead of a salsa social. So you want to find the right balance there where you have just enough tension to keep your arms in position, but not too much where it's very difficult for the gentleman or the leader to turn you. Here's the thing that a lot of beginners will do is that they will really depend on the guy for balance and you don't want to be hanging off the guy when you're spinning. It's really up to the followers to provide the balance, stability and power for the spin. The guy shouldn't feel like he is dragging you around as he's spinning you he's just giving you a little bit of assistance. It's not meant to be, you're holding on to him and without him, you, could, you will fall over. So in the tutorial section of the video, you did see Alice demonstrate how to do the push to go into a double spin. You can use that same technique to push off the second spin 
in order to do a triple spin or quadruple or however many you want to do. You can spin without having to do the push. Uh, there are definitely people who are very talented at spinning and they can spin by just balancing or pivoting without pushing. The way that they do that is that they squeeze their legs together and they pretty much pivot on one foot. That's a much more technical and difficult technique to learn. And so the reason why we decided to demonstrate the pushing technique is because we feel that that's more practical for the majority of social dancers and especially for beginners. It's something that you can pick up relatively easily and get you doing doubles and triples in a much shorter amount of time. And maybe we will make another video in the future uh, going over how to do the triple and double spins without having to push. And I want the guys to keep in mind that the prepping and spinning technique that we show in this video, you can use as well. It's not just for the ladies. And it looks really great when guys can incorporate double and triple and quadruple spins. The other big thing that everybody wants to know is how not to get dizzy. And here's a secret. If you drink a lot of alcohol, you're gonna build a tolerance to it. And what is it that you're building a tolerance to? It's that, that feeling of being drunk. You're just more used to that feeling. Well, uh, s something of a similar effect happens when you spin, is that the more that you spin, the more you kind of get used to that feeling of dizziness. Uh, and so you kind of build a tolerance to it over time. But it helps a lot to spot when you're turning. We didn't really cover too much in this particular tutorial. And the reason why we didn't do that is because there's so many great videos on YouTube already that cover it. You know, spotting is a technique that isn't from salsa, it comes from ballroom, jazz, ballet. There are plenty of videos in, that, that teach those techniques for those styles of dance that you can use for salsa as well. And I highly recommend that just doing a simple search for how to spot in you know, ballroom or ballet or jazz and you should be able to find some really good tutorials out there that will give you some great exercises on how to spot. But if that is something that you guys like to see, just let me know and I can certainly make a video about spotting. If you haven't had some kind of dance training in the past, learning how to spin is a little bit more difficult, but it's really just a lot of repetition. It's just practicing over and over again and it's a lot of trial and error and trying to figure out where your balance is. So just be patient and persistent and you definitely will get it. So that wraps it up for this lesson. Thanks again for watching and hope that you stay dancing.